Psalms 111. <clears throat> Praise ye the Lord. That's a hymn. Praising the Lord, not anything else. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart, not half heart, not an eighth of, one eighth of your heart, entire, complete, in the assembly of the upright, and in the congregation, being among the upright ones. You're not to be in a congregation of those that do wicked, but those who do upright, those who do what God wants you to do. That is the people you're to be with. The works of the Lord are great. No man can do them. No man can even figure them out. Wouldn't it be great when we get to heaven and we find out that what science thought they knew was nothing? That maybe water is more, is more uh, simpler than this H2O? That maybe there is no such thing as gravity? That God just kept us down. That simple. Sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. You can see the you can see God work in your life and do great works in your life if you seek Him. It don't have to be you know destroying an entire nation like you did in Egypt. It didn't have doesn't have to be Elijah calling fire down from heaven. God can do great works in our life, personal works that maybe he'll never do for anybody else. Everyone's different. And in our life, God can do great works if we seek him out. You know, God may do a healing where if you go run to the doctors and they pump you full of medicine. Maybe God can heal you without the medicine. You never know till you ask God. His work is honorable and glorious. He, he, he's worthy of all honor. He's worthy of all praise. And his righteousness endureth forever. God will always be right. God will always be holy. God will never sin. God will never do wrong. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. I wonder if you go to the tabernacle or temples of Jewish people today. If I wonder how much they remember from the word, how much they preach about the word, how much history, how much history have we been dealing with since Genesis one? It's all history right now. History within history. Archaeology digs up and and proclaims that the Bible. The Bible proclaims that man will catch up to it rather than man catch the Bible catch up to man. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He's long suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. He's not that wicked God that people proclaim him to be. And when he does do that wickedness, it's not wickedness, it's judgment upon sin. God is holy. He has given me unto, unto them that fear him. He also causes the, the rain on the unjust. He also gives food to the unjust. He also supplies needs for those that reject him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant to the Jews. That rainbow he puts in the sky. He has showed his people, the Jews, the power of his works. It's what we're reading. It's what we've been reading. The history of the Jewish nation are the works of God alone and no one else. You know, in, in Jesus' time, they lifted up Moses as he was a God. He wasn't. Moses only did what God told him to do. And you can have greater power than Moses and Elijah if you only do what God tells you to do. You know Moses and Elijah never had the power for someone to be saved under them. If you do what God tells you to do and witness to people and tell them what the gospel is. You have the power to bring them eternal life. Moses didn't even have that power. 
that he may give them the heritage of the heathen, of the land of the heathen, the Canaanites. What heathen are over in Jerusalem today in Israel? They're going to be booted out. And they're among the goats. They're going to go to hell. The works of his hands are verity. Now, this is an interesting word. That word is truth or fact. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. So where do you see that today? You swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. There is your oath that you take in a courtroom today. Right there in the Bible even though you don't have a Bible. All his commandments are sure. They're going to happen. Sure. Surety. For sure, you can rely on God. They stand fast forever and ever. Those people who say that they can lose it, that's not what God said. If God says it, it's sure. It's stand fast. It's not going to move. And are down in truth. And up righteousness. He sent redemption unto his people. And that's the calling out under the blood of the Passover lamb. The night they came out. He had commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. Will be to a man that has his name reverend. What follows a reverend name? The title reverend. Well, doesn't somebody's name follow it? That is a violation of this verse. says, holy and reverend is his name, God's name. When you give yourself the title of reverend, you're taking God's title. You're the reverence no man. Go ask Mordecai. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And that's quoted over and over. I went to college and I got a degree. Do you fear God? No. Then you're stupid. Oh, you may be able to design a, a bridge. You might be able to mix chemicals together to come up with a, a chemical. You might be able to build a house you might be able to stand in a courtroom and plead for someone's life but to die and go to hell you don't have no wisdom wisdom is the fear of God and to do what he tells you to do that's godly wisdom a good understanding have all they that do his commandments understanding in the Bible is is knowledge is what you know wisdom is the ability to apply what you know understanding is a relationship to God I use this illustration over and over I know how to drive wisdoms I put my ability I drive understanding I can use my ability to drive to bring people to church His praise endureth forever. That's what we're going to do in glory. We're going to pray. We're not going to be angels on clouds with harps. Only an unma unsaved man could think of something like that. We're going to praise God for all eternity and never tire out, never be ill, never have tears. Forever and ever, the Bible says. Oh, Lord my God. Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. 
Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. And when I think that God His Son not sparing sent Him to die, I scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou 